You didn't get any food? He hands us the <laughs> bag and goes, you're all set, man. <laughs> you're all set, dude. Thanks, bro. Drive away, three fries <laughs> with eight Chick-fil-A sauces. You didn't get any? Well, you got food for like four people. I just spent like 20 bucks and got three fries. <laughs> In here. Stellar and Ninja are coming back from uh, getting food and I'm about to light their asses up. <laughs> if I can get these open in time. Oh my. You go for the big guns. Jason's dual wielding over here. Oh my god. <laughs> Do not shoot the TV, please. Did it hurt? Well, no, it just scared me. <laughs> Do not shoot me again, dude. Ah, Do not oh. shoot me again. Oh, they're here. I locked the door. <laughs> go open it, dude. I gotta you gotta, get, you gotta get ready. Go open it. I'll, I'll do no, it. No, no. He's, he's gotta be ready. We're fine. We got. Don't panic. We have time. There, yep. Hey, I'll do it. <laughs> That's, hey. That is outrageous. Get there! Get out of here, dude. <laughs> We're on our man. We got the food, all right? We'll trade. <laughs> one, one gun. One gun for everybody. <laughs> I don't know how to shoot this fighter. Tell me something sounds badass though. Wait, just wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that was fire. That was fire. I just spent like 20 bucks and got three fries. <laughs> <laughs> you would think that there'd be more than one bag. No, you got a lot. Dude, I've seen them with a one big bag. I've had a big order for it and one bag. I got food for you and me yesterday. Small bag. Well, dude, listen. You know what kind of bag it is? <laughs> the guy goes. It's a bag of fries. <laughs> well, at least call them. See if they deliver. I figured it out. <laughs> don't shoot me. I'm shooting at you for sure. For sure, don't or shoot me. Not me. He's too innocent. Oh, really. What? Don't you, please don't shoot me. Coming at you. You gotta get. No, no. I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, shoot him that way. Let me get a good angle on this. Alright. Every time my point was even at Dude, don't, don't He's, do it. Don't, oh, don't. Just stop. <laughs> okay, shoot Jason. Alright, fine. I don't want to lose these darts though. Yeah, they go everywhere. This is a serious war right here. <laughs> He's charging him. <laughs> this is outrageous. What do you want me You'll hit any target over here? Yeah. Let's hit that bag of fries. It's a big, it's a big target. You ready? You oh yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> that was a, you annihilated it. I like eight of them. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of ridiculous. It's actually, I'm taking, I'm taking this out. For sure, I'm keeping that one. You're not keeping this, buddy. <laughs> yeah, right. You can have the plasma pistol. <laughs> 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 if you hit me in the face with that, I'm almost going to tie away in the face. Please don't shoot at me. Please, I'm, I have a camera. It's expensive, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> towards the barrel side, going for no scopes, charging because they can't lose at this point, feeling extremely confident, and why not? They've had the fantastic comeback, and the reverse sweep is possibly in their grasp. Only four more kills, Kyle, and they will do it. Oh, and Frozzy going for some of those no scope shots there. Sees Lunchbox is still no shields, grabs that kill. Maybe even looking at a game five steak dinner here on Evil Geniuses. This one is not looking good if you're a fan. Oh! Man, that was a disgusting snapshot. They're looking to just end this one in style. Frosty and Royal 2 show to end week four, day number two. And just a disappointing series for Evil Geniuses because they just started so amazing. Really thought that that's what we we're going to see from the rest of the day and possibly the rest of the season. Well... Week four was frustrating.
to say the least. Wednesday, the first day, we did terrible. We lost 3-1 to Liquid. There was a couple close games, but we just weren't playing to our potential. And then day two, we came out really hot against Optic. Went up 2-0, we were playing phenomenal. We went up on a 2-0 lead uh, in the series, which was ridiculous. You know, we came out playing extremely well and then couldn't exactly close it out. So they ended up winning the final three games of the series and won the series three to two. And it's really frustrating uh, because we know how good we can be as a team um, when we're clicking and everything is clear and the communication is good and um, we're working well together and you know making steady improvements as a team but it's just really frustrating when you revert back to some you know bad habits or aren't on the same page for certain things and then you know a game can just kind of spiral away from you. We started playing way worse our communication was getting way too hectic and then they took advantage of that they started playing amazing. It's just hard to kind of focus when so many things are being said and like yelling. The first few games we were literally just having one long conversation throughout the entire game and then we just started yelling call outs and whatnot and everyone was just kind of throwing off their game. So we're in sixth place uh, right now heading into week number five. There's three weeks left of matches so week five, six, and seven for the season. So we have six matches left. We're only one uh, match out of fourth place. Top four are gonna make uh, season two finals. So it's really, you know, not do or die, but at the same time it is based on how we've been playing for the last few weeks. You know, we don't necessarily have to win out. Obviously it's all situational depending on how other teams do, but you know, every match from here on out is entirely winnable and we know how great of a team we are when we're playing our best. It's just about being able to consistently play our best and figure out how to improve that consistency because, you know, if you take a look at the best teams in the league, that's what they're best at. They're consistent with their results. So that is definitely what we're focusing on uh, for this week and the remainder of the season. We're three and five. If we went out, we'll be what, nine and five? We still have to play Envy one more time, Luminosity one more time, Liquid one more time, E6 one more time, and LOL, I think. Well, and Allegiance, yeah. So that's about it. We just, very winnable matches. Just gotta practice and hopefully it pays off. So this is the first week that Stellar has lived in the house, uh, Braden, and it's nice not living alone. The first day I was really homesick and then got a lot better. Got my own uh, pillows and blankets and comforters. Living with Stellar is a little bit different than living with Snipedown, uh, Eric. I've noticed some, some striking similarities, uh, seeing as how they're both hardcore gamers, you know, they're both up pretty late and sleep in pretty late, <laughs> which having, you know, been a hardcore gamer once myself can attest to the sleeping past noon until 2 p.m. or later strategy, and it works very well. Uh, I love Tyler. He's one of the funniest people I've ever met. What? What just happened? Oh my god! And then the twins are just, I don't know, they're Pretty amazing. I think their bickering's hilarious. They're great players. So, yeah. Yeah. How's Tao? Life is Tao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just you two in the house, huh? Yep. It's like a new duo. Pretty much. Apparently. <laughs> Yo, five bucks on this game. Down. <laughs> oh, one more. Great. One more. We're gonna do ten dollars. His hands are fresh. No, ten dollars. Ten dollars. You're playing like such a little bitch with your sniper. What does that even mean, dude? I'm gonna fucking close him. Oh, there you are. I'm listening to music too, so f you. No, you're not. I'm going to listen to the future right now.
Dude, you're gonna piss me off. Oh no. Tilt, 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 Stellar with a hey, you gotta break him in real quick, buddy. So yeah, this next week we play uh, Allegiance in our first match, and then E6, Enigma Six in the second match. Both uh, very, very important series. Obviously, we need a win in both of these series to make sure we're staying on the bubble for the top four teams. Following our Thursday match, we head down to St. Louis for uh, the UGC tournament there for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm not sure all the pro teams that are going there, um, but having not competed at a LAN environment now since, I couldn't even tell you when, I think the PAX Invitational uh, when Aiden Suspector was, was still on our team with Eric, I think that was the last LAN tournament we went to. So I'm actually really excited to finally get to another tournament and be able to play in a LAN environment and you know see how our team really does.